Hey everybody, welcome back to another adventure, another craft, another fun time with me. I've got popsicle sticks, I've got soda bottles today, I've got glue guns, and I've got paint. Does that sound like a fun time? Because it might be. I mean, if you enjoy doing this craft, then it'll be a fun time. What we're making today, though, is going to be this paint brush holder, which I hold paint brushes in. You don't have to hold paint brushes in. You can hold whatever long items you want to. If you have a banana you wanna you wanna have a specific holder for, then then why not? I mean you can have your own special place for I guess I could put the scissors in here. There. Now it's not just a paintbrush holder. It's also a paintbrush scissors holder. But only one scissors because if I put any more in here things will be difficult to get out. I just use one as a paintbrush holder because it's easier and the height of it keeps them from kind of just like I've had holders before of my papers in them where you put them in and they kind of spread out and they're just all of them. Not that it's horrible, it's not bad, I just like to keep my stuff kind of close together if possible. So we're gonna get into this, we're gonna look at how to make this fun little piece. And I like to think it's pretty simple, pretty easy, I mean it's not as many steps to do. And it's one of those ones you can personalize again, however you like. I mean that's how most DIY crafts are though, I think, I hope. I know there's some that want you to follow direct. Either way, we're not gonna get into other DIY crafts. We're gonna do this one. So guys, let's go have some fun. but it just seemed like it'd be a fun set of colors to do for this video um, especially with the splatter appearance on the sides because on this one I simply painted the design which if you do that I would advise painting the first layer and then waiting until it's dry before painting the next one because I made the mistake of thinking it was dry and then trying to paint the design and it smears in 
also wait till it's actually dry before painting it. Um, you can also see that this one's stack was higher than this one's, and that's all just reference too. If you want to cover the entire thing with popsicle stick, go ahead. If you want to make just a tiny base like this, go ahead. It's all up to you, it's all up to what you might like. Colors, everything's your choice. I just like to make the videos on how to make the base structure of these things, and then you can go wild with them. Quiet home, I am trying to do something. Thank you very much for watching though. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, like the video, because if you like it, then please like it. It really helps out. Thanks for all the support thus far. Um, I mean, it's obviously still a small channel, but there's been a little bit of growth coming forth, and that's pretty exciting because I just really enjoy doing crafts and knowing that people want to see the crafts. That's pretty cool. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I will see you all in the next adventure.